Hi, this is Bill Hicks. Uh, those of y'all don't know, David's uh, kind of not feeling too well these days. Let me out! Let me out! He's kind of under the weather. I'm not! You trap me in the hole! Cover it! Anyway, uh, this is raw time, and uh, let's all pray that Dave returns real soon, okay? Help you boys. Boys! I'm live up here on Roy Tom, dropping mad rhymes. Raw Wanna know the rest? Hey, by the right. Hey, this is Debbie Gibson, and you're hanging with Raw Time. You got your head. Raw fucking time. Go to school is what you tell us. But everybody in school is scared of the good fellas. What's up? This is Mila and you're watching Raw Time. Got it? It's let's go back. I wasn't da I really, really I wasn't dancing back here. That was beautiful. That was beautiful, people. That was the jock jam. Various artists, all the clips from all the wonderful songs you recognized and love. We hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And uh, you're watching Raw Time. I'm Dave, your host for the evening. Before the jock jam, we had Clawhammer, a great little band with Queen's Lead Hel Helmet. And I love the title of that album. <laughs> Hold your tongue and say Apple. Just try it. Just try it. Apollo 440 with Ain't Talking About Dub started the show tonight. Of course, you might have recognized that guitar lick. I know I did, and I was kind of embarrassed. Uh, we have a giveaway tonight. I'm going to tell you about that right off the top of the show. We were lucky enough to be given a pair of Lollapalooza tickets. If you would like to win these tickets, we would love to see you here at the studio. All you got to do is come to the studio to get these tickets and... Uh, We'll give them to you. The first person to get here, and uh, it's just that easy. Come to the studio. If you know where we're at, that's half the battle. Um, and we're here for another hour, 15 minutes, so we'd love to see you. Red 5 coming up next. Great band, Red 5. And uh, we have your live phone calls now, so give us a ring at 472-CALL. And the info line, if you'd like to leave us a message, is 473-3848. We have our homepage at the bottom of the screen there, capsize.home.ml.org. We'd like to thank our sponsors, the Adhesive Media Incorporated, the Eden Matrix, for providing web space for the programs over the last few years, and we look forward to uh, much more future uh, work with them. So uh, I guess we'll go to your phone calls, because I see you waiting. Hello. Thanks. That's a great way to start. Hi, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going, man? Great, how are hey, you? Hey, dude, I just caught the uh, end of that, uh, of that great uh, CD that you just played. Cool, cool. Hey, you're going to do a, re a replay of it at the end? Of course not. Oh, that's weak, man. Why would we want to play something again that we've already played? That's weak. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Hi, Dave. Uh, did you bring in Kerr's Fait Accompli? You know, man, I sure did. <laughs> did not? I did. Yo, you did? Yes, I did. You gonna play it? Yes, I am. Oh man, that, it ought to hit around uh, it's twelve fifteen now, probably around one o'clock or so. Okay, where's but your don't studio? Tune in. I, don't tune away. I might be wrong. I'm horrible with my timing. I'm okay. I'm well, no, I playing. won't. I won't because it's, I want to see it so bad. It's after the Luke video. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Where's your studio located? We are at eleven forty three Northwestern. No, I don't know where we're north. Give, it's in East me. Austin. Uh, East Austin? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I'll find it. All right, you don't okay. want to miss that video. Yeah, really, I'll, I'll see it. All right, man. Okay, thanks a lot. Sure, no problem. Bye. Bye. Had him fooled for a second, didn't I? <laughs> Hi, you're on Raw Time. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, just uh, doing the show, man. Hey, you got any fucking corpse, man? No. No Campbell Corpse? No. What the hell kind of show is this, man? One that doesn't play Cannibal Corpse unless they come out with a new video. Hey, Hi. you're on, Nick. What? Hey, man, you got the good shit. I don't know, dude. The good shit. I haven't had a good shit today. The good shit. Mm, we'll keep watching and you tell me. Hi. <laughs> bye bye. Click. Hi, you're on raw time. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> 
she can lick my balls up and down. You're I'm lucky. a crazy motherfucker. I'll kick your ass, you fat bastard. Mm -hmm. You shave that long hair, you ugly bitch. Long? Lick on my dick. Hmm. Funny how he can do that with his mouth full. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Yeah, I was wondering, do you have any Wu-Tang tonight? No, nah, sure don't, man. Sorry. Right. Um, we don't take requests either. These are the last two requests we're doing tonight, and uh, one of them is Kurt. Yeah, fuck you, Hoi. So, thanks for tuning in. Hi, you're on Raw Time. See ya. You gonna talk? Gonna hang up? Okay. Raw Time. Yo on the air. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm just sitting here kind of chilling, watching the show, man. It's it's uh, it's a good show, dude. Thank you. And uh, how long have you been doing this so far? Oh, I've been uh, doing TV for about seven years, eight years. Yeah. Any Anything uh, further going to come out of it? I mean, because it's like you need you need something more, dude. I nah, mean, this is it. I'm already bored with it, but I don't want to take it nowhere else. So uh, I... Anyway, keep rocking, dude. You rule. Thanks, man. I like to do it on uh, Austin Access. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Hello. Hi, Barry, with Richard Simmons. No, it's not. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Fed me! Thank you. Raw Time. Hey, uh, do you remember when uh, the answer to a trivia question was Larry Flint, and you are supposed mm -hmm. to send me a thing Dude, of... Dude, so you're that guy. Yeah, I'm that, that guy. That thing got sent back to me. They wouldn't let me send glass. Really? Yeah. So what I are you going to do about it? Dude, if you want to come get one, I'll bring one. All right, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, I know what it's you okay. mean. All right. No yeah, mind. man, but I don't know. I guess the U.S. mail is opposed to sending glass in the mail. Yeah, I had no idea. That. How did they know it was glass? Uh, you got me, man. <laughs> I did. I just kind of put it in there. I didn't, like, you know, cushion it or anything. Oh, okay. So. All right, that's fine. All right, well, if you'd like to uh, come down to the studio, I can call you and tell you how to get here and uh, can meet you here with one of them if you want to make that trip for it. Well, uh, it's not a big deal. I know what you mean. All right, thanks. Thank you, though. Bye. Raw time. Yeah, date rate by Sublime. What? Bring it. What? Hey, you know, if y'all want to take some more phone calls, check out 16. You got Night Talk. This is about videos. It's a little old band called Red 5. Hit it, James.
Maybe you may fall down, down, down. Cause you know I'll be there for you. you know I'll be there. And I'll give you my Giving our tribute to Kid Rock. How about you? Well, I'm sitting here watching y'all. I would like to get a juvenile. Back that thing up. I don't speak that language, sorry. Raw time. Yeah, you guys are a bunch of prissy, dumbass bitches, man. We're so prissy. Yeah. We're such snobs. Oh. Sorry. Raw time. Hi. Sounds like I've offended Hello? some Kid Rock fans. What's he doing home on a Saturday night? I didn't think you liked Kid Rock. Huh? Do what? I didn't think you liked Kid Rock. In so fact, you, so you do? I was, no, I was amazed. I don't like him. I, I was amazed y'all played the videos. I knew y'all didn't like it, but y'all are just the host, right? Yeah, y'all I don't get to pick the videos. Um, Atari was okay. Yeah, it was, it was the, one of the better. It's a better or best video we played tonight, at least. But the words were kind of hard to understand. 
Revolution, Revolution to action. action. Well, yeah, you know, that's, that's it. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. You know, that's all it was. It still was hard to understand. What clubs do y'all go to? Mm. If you're not too young to enter. Uh, no, she's almost too old. There's a teenage curfew, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't know how y'all... Oh, I'm 13, though, so I have to be home by, like, 7. Oh, well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Is it? Raw time. Hello? Hello. Hey, I just wanted to call to see if you remembered me. Like, do you remember that uh, freshman year, that, like, Matt Connections class? <laughs> And your name would be... Mike. And your name would be... Mike. Oh, Mike. <laughs> yeah. You remember it was like... It was you, Aaron, and me. I know Aaron. Aaron's my my girl. Um, well, anyways, I wanted to ask you about that... Uh, that System of a Down concert. Like, yeah? What about it? it? How it got, like, rescheduled. I don't know. I don't care. I think they suck. And I hope, hope they reschedule and reschedule again so they never play in Austin. Oh. How about you? Do you like them? Yeah. Well, uh, I hope you have fun at the concert. Well, I just wanted to, like, see if you knew, like, because they rescheduled at the back room. Dave, do you know anything about that? If you're not... Oh, I'm sorry. Anything about the System of a Down concert? The drummer broke his knee. The drummer broke his knee. Me and Summer went and got him with a baseball bat and broke his kneecap. And crowbars. That's pretty cool. Sorry. But do you know when they're going to play? It's more like it. Is this our present? Yeah. What'd you do with it? I had some other girls down the hall that were a little tougher than Oh, yeah, team. right, whatever. Aww. You just had a bat. Right down there. Whatever. Right down there. We're cool. But we had hills on. Yeah. And, yeah. And whatever. Was her name, what, did, like, Stephanie sit on it or something? I don't know, but there's two girls ass. Yeah, whatever. We'll bring him in here. Speaking we'll kick kicking around. ass. <laughs> okay. This is really fun to play. Oh, wait, he's still sitting on there. Hi. Raw time. <laughs> Hey, you want to fix the camera, Dave, or no? No. Raw time, hello. Goodbye. Raw time. Hello. Hello. Hey, I just want to say Stefani was a better co-host than you are. Still... Well, that's interesting because she wasn't a co-host, but yeah. if, you think, if you think she's a better co-host, that's fine. But, Maybe okay. I'll have some Is that better? No, the camera's fine. Raw time. Hello. That's really nice. <sighs> yeah. I haven't heard from Chris. Oh, he called at the very beginning. I mean, after. Oh, I think he's crying. <laughs> Ross, Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello, what is up? Not much. That's really nice, thanks. No problem. Can you like any of our videos? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You liked them? Yeah. Did you even watch them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I would have been, been Dude, they, some people are so easily entertained. That was um I forgot what are we doing? That was uh that was uh the Fresh Prince Will Smith with Men in Black theme song from the movie. We hope you enjoyed that. You know, I saw DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince at the Texas uh, Exposition and Heritage Center many years ago, along with Salt and Peppa, MC Hammer, and Run DMC. Uh, I believe Public Enemy was also on that show, but I was a little late, so I didn't quite see them. Ah, yes, those were the days. Before Will Smith, we had Sugar Ray and Superfly doing Super Cat doing Fly. Superfly is a whole nother guy. Uh, and Red 5 started that last set off of lenses. I believe uh, we have a lucky winner for these Lollapalooza tickets, Emily. Perhaps she'll be here very soon. Uh, coming up next is a great video from Guided by Voices. Great little uh, ditty called Bulldog Skin, and we want you to stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to go to the phone calls, though. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, how's it going? Good, hey, how are you? Uh, I have two questions. The first one is, uh, how, do you, how do you get the rights to uh, play the videos? Oh, the, you, you establish a contract with the record company, you tell them when you play them, and that's the biggest part of it. Hey, well, that's not bad. And the other one, uh, I was watching that, uh, the Will Smith one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I need to, like, take me to your leader. Yeah, yeah, woo, don't <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> woo! <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. No problem, man. Well, hi, you're on Raw Time. Hi, Dave. Curtis, I'm in. 
Wow. You know, I swore. I thought I heard him say it was Richard Simmons, but it couldn't have been. Hello? Hey, hello, you're on the air. Hi, I just wanted to say that uh, you're a prick and you can suck my cock, and uh, I want to say NWO for life. Grow one, little man. Grow one. Hi, you're on Raw Time. I swore it was a girl. You guys, it was a girl, cool. wasn't it? Hi, you're on Raw Time. You're on the air. Hello? Hello. Mr. Bungle, Blackfoot. Hmm. Never heard of that one. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Yeah, hello? Hello. Hey, do y'all have any more Lollapalooza tickets? No, that was it. Ah. Thanks for watching. You're on Raw Time. Take my, take my, respect. Hey, hello, you're on Raw Time. Hey, Dave, this is KB. Hey, KB, how are you? Uh, hey, you good. know what I love the best about, like, that last caller is how they're like, can you suck my dick? Trying not to wake up their parents, you know? <laughs> right. What That's are you doing? Crazy. Man? I don't know. They just took their channels, staying up late as usual. Yeah. Um, that thing is, uh, you know when Debbie Kiss going to be coming back to town again? Nah, sure don't. I wish I did, man. Uh, she's supposed to be trying to get on another play, and I don't know what's going on. Oh, with do this. you want play that is? Huh? No, yep. they haven't announced it yet, because it's supposed to be like a super top secret thing. Oh, okay. Is, is a you... cat, is a play cat going to come back to town again sometime? Is who? The play cat. Oh, I don't know, you know. I, I'm, I haven't seen it. No, I, I don't I, know. I would always like to go see it, because... I, th I think I saw one time that a woman was was being talked to about her, her putting on her own makeup for the cat scene, mm -hmm. for the, the, the picture of a cat, in other words. A mm -hmm. friend of mine went and saw Guys and Dolls tonight, though. Yeah, I would see that, too, and that was pretty good. That's great. It was awesome. The reason I go see cats is because I can see how they do that, the, the, the dance routine and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty technical. Did you see the last WWF show? Uh, yeah, the one the one here in Austin, yeah. I had great tickets, and I had to give them up because I do another TV show on Sundays now. Oh, man. I really hate that what that. happens. Man, it, it was a drag. I had, like, uh, I believe it was second row. Oh, man. Yeah. I was in the sick. I was in the, let's see, I was in, like, a third to the last row. Wow. <laughs> third wow. from the last row. Well, it's, Although, sure it was great, man. Even though they canceled some of them matches, I bet it was still a great show. I could give you my address and give me them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you can't make it, in other words. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why they put on Sundays, because Monday they had a Monday Night Raw on oh, in right. San right. Antonio. Oh, one of these days they'll uh, do it from Austin, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. They, had, they did it one before. Really? Yeah, a real long time ago when Hulk Hogan was in it. Oh, man, the Hulkster. I know. He was, that was way back when. Well, KB, I'm going to blaze and get some more videos on. All right. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Raw time. Yeah, do you have any masking video? Raw time. Uh, you know, I'm a musician and stuff. I just think that those losers that call, you should bash them over the head with a guitar and kick their ass. Raw time. Hi, baby. Raw time. Hey, do you have any uh, Sublime videos? Are you going to play anything like that in next? You know, as a matter of fact, I'm playing Date Rape tonight. All right. Hey, do you know anything about that new album when it's coming out? Or? Mm -mm, sure don't, man. It's just amazing to me, though, how dead people keep putting that album. <laughs> so is that, like, is, that, is that the last album you think they'll ever put out ever? Or? I don't know much about them. I'm learning stuff all the time. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Raw time. Raw time. Yes. Um, I want to know if y'all can play the song by Metallica. Mm, no, sure don't. Take requests. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Hey. Hello. Hello. What the f Thank you. Raw Time. Hi, do you know what happened to the wrestling that they used to have on Channel 16? Oh, you know, I sure don't. I know I came in here one time and they dirtied up my studio real bad, but, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on with them anymore. Can I, can I also say that uh, I love Larry and your show rocks? You rock. Larry's the man, by the way. All right, thanks. You have a nice night. Thank you. You too. Raw time. Hey, one more thing I forgot to mention. Oh yeah. Um, this KB again. Yeah. Um, you, this one, this one rock group I, I do not like. You know, that's too too weird for me. Yuck. Disgusting weird. I like weird stuff, but that's disgusting. Like like a like such Perlone Harkov's band up movie. You know. Who was it? Marilyn Manson. Oh, I hate him. I hate him too. I hate him, man. He's so sick. Yeah, I think so, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, KB, why don't you introduce this next video for us. Tell them uh, you're watching Raw Time and here's Guided by Voices. This is Raw Time here and here's Guided by Voices. Beautiful. Thank you. See ya. All right. Class, we have a new student today. I'd like you all to say hello to Larky Parka. <laughs> Hi there, 
I'm David, and this is Dave. We're from Megadeth, and this is Raw Time. from Curve and a Mighty Fine Request, one of the two last requests I will be doing for quite a while, quite a while. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got it on tape there at home so you can keep rewinding and playing it over and over. Uh, it was a great video. Curve was a great band. Don't know what they're up to now. Uh, Luke bounced to the beat before that, and if you'll stay tuned tonight, we also have the two live crew, so you can get either or. Before Luke was Three Colors Red, a new band with a song called Pure, and we started off that last set with a great, great clip from uh, a band, I think they were in town recently, Guided by Voices, and uh, that was Bulldog Skin, and uh, I kind of dig that one. I haven't really liked them too much in the past, but that was a really cool song. Uh, a great new band coming up next by the name of Souls, and uh, I think it's a great song, and we'd like to hear what your input is. If you'd like to call us live, our live number is 472. 2255, that's 472 call, and our info line is 473 3848. We also have a home page. If you'd like to check that out, it's at capsize.home.ml.org. And uh, I'd like to thank the Adhesive Media Incorporated, the Eden Matrix, for their support over the last few years and look forward to a lot of uh, work with them in the future. This is Raw Time, and uh, just for you. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Click. Raw time. That shit. Raw time. Hey. Hey. Oh, uh, uh, you know, taking calls. Hi, you're on raw time. Um, hey, what is the last name of the Emily that won tickets? You know, I, I wouldn't want to say that on TV. Uh, because I, I think, I don't know, I might have signed up. You what? I might have signed up. My, my name's Emily. Oh, okay. No, it wasn't a sign-up thing. It wasn't? No, she, okay. ca she came down here and got it. Oh, she did? That's cool. I yeah. didn't know. They had a bug, too, and bugs are cool. Really? Yeah. What kind of bug? Uh, what kind? Yeah. I think he said it was a 74. Oh, those are awesome. It was actually a rusty bug. Oh, really? Yeah. We just got back from uh, Aquafest. Oh, how was it? Storyville was awesome. Yeah? Oh, yes. Malcolm it, and me are pretty cool. That's cool. Did you see their, uh, who was it, Lori Marks opening? Um, no, I didn't. Mm. They were kind of late coming on. They were like an hour late. Wow. Yeah. Well, Storyville's a great Austin band. Yeah, we went to his stubs and saw them. 
Okay. <laughs> we get backstage passes and stuff. Hey. Yeah. Too cool. Yeah. We're not, I'm not from here, though. I'm from Dallas. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, you got an awesome show. It's the first time I've ever seen it, but... Oh, well, thank you. We're, we're here every Thursday night. Okay. And then we do all Texas music on Saturdays on Capsize. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'll have to watch it. Yeah, if you get time, check that out. I will do that. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We have a uh, great band performing on Capsize this Saturday on Channel 10 at midnight. It's a band called The Musement, and uh, we hope that you can tune that in. It's a great uh, way to see some Texas music without leaving your living room. Hi, you're on Raw Time. How are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Very good. Good cool. show, very Thank good you. show. Thank you. Um, I saw your interview with Darla Hood the, awesome. other, the other day. Cool. Those guys are excellent. They sure do rock. I love that I band. went out and got the CD, and I'm really impressed. Uh, do you have any Darla Wood to play tonight? I wish I did. That's a great request, but um, I hope we'll get a video for, from them for New York City sometime soon. Oh. Uh, but I don't have any here tonight. I've been running that one on the channels as much as possible. Do you know if they're working on anything new? As far as a CD? Yeah. No, they're still on the road with Collective Soul, uh -huh. and uh, I think they're going to be touring for a while to try to bring the current album up. Really? Okay. And, Very uh, good. Uh, it was a really good interview you did with them. Well, thank you. They're great people, man. And uh, I just have a message for all of the uh, the folks who want to call in and, and not have anything intelligent to say. Um, if you're all are listening, you know, just ask yourself, am I a loser? And uh, if you want to answer the question honestly, you can probably say yes. So. Well, you know, if they were listening, then we'd know that they weren't silly, but you know they don't listen. They're too busy going, oh, still busy, still busy. Losers, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks, man. Keep up the good work. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Raw time. Yeah, do you like wrestling? Oh, yeah, sure, probably, just a little bit. It's funny. Hi, you're on Raw time. Oh, are you a similar wrestler? Mm-hmm. You should see the outfit. Hi, you're on Raw time. Yeah, I just want to say, Raw Blue sucks. Okay. Thanks. I don't know. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Nothing. How you doing? Uh, just trying to make it. Oh, I feel you. Say, um, I got a question, like, because I'm a rapper, right? Okay. I'm like, how does somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's just starting out, because you know what I'm saying, I do talent shows and all that, you know, like, but how do I, like, you know what I'm saying, make it? You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't think Austin, unfortunately, there, there's a couple places that are trying to bring up the freestyle and DJ nights here in town, but, um, it's hard, man, because Austin, uh, if you're just going to stay in Austin, we don't have, uh, you know, I can't say we don't have a scene because there's plenty of people doing it and doing it well. Problem is, there's not much of a, uh, a place for them to showcase it. Oh, really? And uh, there's been recently actually a few people trying to bring that up. I don't know what it's going to take, man, uh, but I wish it would blow up. Yeah. I mean, you know, even like Houston. Oh, yeah, most deaf right there, Houston. Yeah. Cause he's to me bumping. Yeah, you got all the fifth ward stuff and and all the rap a lot guys, man. It's this uh, big scene. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just want to say, yeah, y'all doing a good job up there. And, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. We're trying to satisfy a little bit of everybody's taste. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thanks, man. Good luck, man. Yeah. You too. All right. Yeah. See ya. Uh, this is Raw Time, y'all, and we appreciate everybody tuning in. I'd like to thank the Lodger family for being here tonight, and uh, I'm Dave Pruitt, your host, producer, and uh, editor for the evening. And if you'd like to uh, keep watching, you're going to see right now a video from a band called Souls. Thank you! I want you to give it up right now for Joe Rockhead. Come on, that's Wimpy. Joe Rockhead, they fucking rocked your ass, didn't they? Go out! You guys are looking pretty, sounding pretty quiet. Looking pretty stoned. person's ass or something. <laughs> Sorry, man. Don't pull the shit. Sorry, Sorry. friend. You can't sing. With, with no cord, the mic does not work.
damn thing. I won't do it. Just do it. Do the damn thing. There's two live crew keeping it real for you. Do the damn thing. And before two live crew, we had Lenny Harper, or uh, Ben Kravitz, or wait, no, Ben Harper doing Faded. And uh, we started the last song with a great new band called Souls. Chilla, Where You Were was that song. If you're watching Raw Time, we're here for just a little bit more, and we'll be glad to speak with you. If you want to call, there's the numbers. Junkster is next with a song called Mr. Blue. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't have anything to do with any of the movies with the colored names, guys. So anyway, um, we have Sublime Date Rape coming up, too. That's the last of the two requests we'll be doing for quite a while. You're on Raw Time. Star Dash. Thank you. Raw time. Raw time. Hey, I want to know if you guys can have anybody live today. I want to have you guys many? If you guys can have anybody live. Any what? Anybody live. I'm sorry. I just can't understand you. Maybe it's not loud enough. I don't know. Hi, you're on raw time. Hey, I was wondering what you uh, thought about that, uh, you fat piece of shit. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I you like it too, don't you? Hi, you're on Raw Time. Hey, you have a girlfriend? Mm -hmm, I have a wife. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Yeah, can we peep that big mic? No, nah, I don't have a big mic. I, I, I got bourbons and Impalas on Saturday night, though. What about that candy? Uh, you know, I don't think, but I'll tell you what I do have also on Saturday, if you're around Saturday, is a brand new video from Scarface called Mary Jane. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You, we, we can't see that candy, man. It's the bomb. I, I know what you're saying, man. I don't have it here. It's that down south got, Texas, baby. Yep, yeah, I got D. Brown coming up. All right, then. All right. Bet. See ya. Raw time. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? You're on raw time. That shit. Hey, what's up? You're on raw time. How's it going? Uh, I'm just making it, waiting for uh, time to pass, man. Yeah. Um, do you have any butthole surfers lined up for tonight? No. Hey, I, I need to, I have a question. Mm-hmm. I'm in a band. It's called Fat Ass Dog. Cool. And we're like, we're trying to like get some like gigs and stuff, but we're like younger, so we can't play in bars or anything. Mm-hmm. Like, what should I do? Um, keep plugging. And good luck. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Don't pass the phone around. Huh? Don't pass the phone around. Hey, what's your name, dude? Dave. Huh? Dave. You're an ugly motherfucker, dude. Why you need you a haircut, too, bitch. Come give me one. Fucking slob motherfucker. Come give me one. I come whoop your ass, bitch. Okay, That's I'll all wait I'll for do. you. I'll wait for <laughs> you. If I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna whoop your ass, motherfucker. Take that shooting back out. I can understand you a little better. What's up? You're on Raw Time. <laughs> Thank you. Raw Time. Hey, man, you get to check out that Melvin show the other night? As a matter of fact, I saw the Melvins. That was badass. Man. I thought so, man. Yeah. I love those guys. I think Helmet sucked myself, but... Um, you know, I'm kind of right there with you. Yeah, but the Melvins, they were the shit. They are always the shit. Yeah, I got to say that. I think I want to do my hair like that guy. Yeah, that, that, yeah that'd, be, that'd be beautiful. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, man. But, Great music there, the Melvins. Got to agree with them. Hello. Hey. Hey. So, what, uh, you know that group, Bo Bud Green? Yep. What do you think of them? I don't know enough about them. I heard like two songs and they sound pretty good. Uh, they think you're a fat piece of shit. You know, I ought to smoke them Bud, Bud, Bo Bud Green guys then. You lying sack of shit. Mm, yeah. You son of a bitch. How come they don't get any more radio play? Because you're a fat piece of shit. Oh, I don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> I guess they don't get any gigs either, huh? Hi, you're on Raw Time. Fuck you, ho. Thank you. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Can you hear me now, fat fuck? Mm-hmm. You're a fat piece of shit. Is that all? No, you're a fat piece of shit. Okay, anything else? Fuck you. Oh, that's original, dude. Boy, I bet you worked an hour on that one. You're on raw time. Lardis. Hmm. You know, I got about two more minutes of this. Come on. Hi, you're on raw time. Hello. Hello. Uh, I just had a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other night I was watching an access show, and they uh, showed a Mercury uh, video. Mm-hmm. I was wondering if you knew any way to, like, uh, get, I mean, I know those are pretty hard to find. I have some. You do? They, they came on the show one time, actually. No shit? Mm hmm Yeah, I saw Chasing a Bee last night. The guy, like, faded it out right in the middle of it. Didn't show the whole thing. That's weak. Yeah, but I was just, I mean, or would those be just around, or are they hard to find? Or? Uh, yeah, they're pretty hard to find. Really? All right, well, also I want to say I thought it was stupid how everybody's calling up and <laughs> making funny and stuff like that. Pretty weird, but whatever they want to do, they're watching. All right, anything you got? What else you have lined up for tonight? Junkster, Nixon, Sublime, and D Brown. Kick ass. We'll take it easy, man. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. positive feedback. Gotta love it. 
Yeah, you know, they were a good band. I don't know if uh, Mercury Rev is still around, but while they were, um, Ben, I believe, had a lot to do with getting them guys over here. Hello, you're on Raw Time. Uh, you got bigger chinnies than my fucking mama. You know, I thought so, too. As I laid her down, though, they kind of flattened out and made everything real good. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Hey, been over and fuck your asshole. Hmm, boy, you guys are original tonight. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Hey, what's up? Oh, you know, just wondering where these guys write their material. Man, nah, fuck those other people. They ain't about shit. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Keep it up. Well, thank you for tuning in. All right, see you later. All right, bye-bye. Raw time. Yes, I wanted to know if you could eat my mom's crust off her pussy for dinner. Well, your, fa your father's crust was a lot tastier. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Yeah, I like that shirt. Green looks really good on you. I like green, too. It's better than white or black. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I don't I don't know. What the heck? Two more. Hi, you're on Raw Time. Man, I can't believe the crap you're having to put up with tonight, man. What, man. what is everybody's deal? They're on crack. <laughs> I guess, man. Hey, yeah, just hang in there. You're doing fine, man. I wish I wish people just cut that out, man. It's, it's, it's giving everybody a bad name. Well, you know. You know how you can help cut it out? How's that? You can go, you're watching Raw Time. Now check out this video by Junkster. Right on, man. Hey, uh, hey have you heard of a... Say it. Say it. All right. You're on Raw Time. Check out this video by Junkster. Just that easy. Thank you. I want you to give it up right now for Joe Rockhead. Come on, that's Wimpy. Joe Rockhead, they fucking rocked your ass, didn't they? Go out! Hi there, I'm David. And this is Dave. Thank you! The song is called Denise. Well, Denise, the sticky one. On the knees again for forgiveness. What did you do this time? What did they give you? That was space monkey. Stuck in a hole for a digging. Stuck in a hole for a day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
jugado Hey Austin, Texas, what's up? This is Capsize, I'm Dave. Thanks for tuning in. We do this live every Saturday night for about 15 years now on Channel 10. Rawtime.com if you're interested and um, love to hear from you. Right now though, the wonderful, the amazing, the photogenic, <laughs> All right. the effervescent Tony Scalzo and friends. How are you, Tony? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Dave? I'm doing good. Introduce me to your friends. Uh, well, over here on bass, we have Harmony Kelly. And we have Jason Enright on guitar. Jason, what's up? How are you doing there? I'm doing good. You've been playing with Tony for a while, huh? Uh, about two years now, I guess. How did you meet this guy? Well, it's pretty interesting. There's a story here. When John and Twistle died, do you remember that? I've heard of that guy. He went up to heaven, and he talked to God, and he said, Jason and Tony have got to meet. Yeah. And that's actually the day we met. So... That's, that's what happened. And that, my friends, is a keeper. Yeah. That's a story. Would you His agree? His brother vomited on my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. that Guilty is. as charged. Yeah, but we, we met at the Hard Rock. Uh, Jane Bond was playing. And, and well, yeah, John Entwistle died that night. So we, uh, Paul Miner was hosting the show, and he was playing live at Leeds. And then, you know, kids are all right after that. We hung out, met the two uh, Enright brothers from, you know, over at Jupiter Records. Been friends ever since. Wow. Very good. Well, I know you guys sound great together. I've seen, uh, seen you at least a couple times. And more likely this situation, you know. Um, uh, yeah. Lately, more likely this situation. I, unless it's like fastball, I'm pretty much, uh, you know, all the good guys are all, they're, everybody's busy. Yeah. You know, I mean, they all got like five things going. Harmony's got a bunch of stuff going. Even Jason plays three or four different gigs. I just basically play with fastball or I try to do my own shows and, you know. Yeah. And, and how, did you, how did you meet here? Uh, she's oh. Got, I know she's got to have a story, right? MySpace. I found him on MySpace. Yeah, yeah the yeah. phenomenal MySpace. It's so cheesy. But yeah, it's true. It really it's true. Works. It really does work. Brings it, musicians together. <laughs> it's a great way to stay in touch, you know, all together, absolutely. Have you recorded any of this Tony Scalzo material? Um, yeah, most of the stuff we're going to play tonight is actually, it's recorded in, in a sort of, you know, almost final form. But I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like it's ready to really, you know, release as an album yet. I, I want to pull some other songs into it if I can, and then try and, you know, maybe get it to... I don't know, just some fine tuning needs to be done before I actually put it out. I do have a couple of EPs, three songs each, two EPs, and they're available on my website, uh, TonyScalzo.com. Absolutely. And man, if, if, whether it be Fastball or the songs I've heard of your, your solo material, um, your, your songmanship is amazing. I don't know whether you want to be labeled in anything, but they're very, it's pop, it's alternative, it's all of it, and it's very... Um, Man, I can remember like the first time I hear a song, the next time I hear it, I'm singing the chorus, you know? And it's very good stuff. And um, what are your inspirations? I hear stuff, but what, what inspired you to like make the music? Well, you know, what you just said is if, if I remember something from the first time I hear it, that's the kind of music that inspires me. 
I mean, I remember latching onto songs as a real young kid, you know, I would hear something on the radio and, and just know it right away. And when it came on, that identification, you know, gave me, you know, like immediate gratification. It was just like, bam, this is awesome. And so I kind of fell in love with music early and my ears sort of developed accordingly. And, you know, as time went by, you know, I started writing like the stuff that I was hooked into as a younger person. <laughs> Songwriters that I, I uh, would call just amazing that I've heard uh, in this town would include yourself for sure. And then seriously, and then Johnny Gowdy. Yeah, and, and now I you tell me you're working with Johnny. With Johnny. Yeah. How, He's been coming that? over to my house and uh, doing some stuff. We wrote a song the other day. Um, also Tucker Livingston has been coming over and we've been writing some stuff together. and. It's just been great because since I don't really write that much and work actively with fastball as much as I used to, I mean, although that's not completely, you know, done with, uh, we don't work together as much as we used to. I find that I can't really work that well uh, on my own. I don't have enough discipline. Mm -hmm. And I like, you know, turn on the boob tube, you know, when I should be working. But if I make appointments for people to come over and work with me at my house, don't have to lift a finger, <laughs> don't have to get in the car, they come over to my house, and that way I can be really creative and really productive. And just to have another person to say, you know, wow, do that. Or what the fuck are or, you that thinking? That sucks. <laughs> yeah. You know, or that sucks. And you're like, okay. Yeah, it's just kind of like work, you know. It's easier to work with a team than it is on your own, I guess, maybe. Well, I'm very anxious to hear the uh, the fruits of that labor. Let me tell you why. Y'all are two of the, my most favorite songwriters in town. Johnny? So, yeah. 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 You know, I actually just started hanging with him after mm -hmm. all these years. We've always been in the sort of, you know, the Austin wave. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, man. You know. <laughs> you know. But uh, I've always liked him, and I'm just not really familiar with a lot of his stuff, frankly. I didn't really, just kind of ignorant because... You know, we're all off doing our own things and liking our own stuff. And, he, uh, but uh, we have a lot in common, I find. Doing Oddville, I guess, now. He's doing that, right? Is that the... Uh, yeah. Or something? Yeah. And I haven't been to that either. Yeah, right, me too. But uh, yeah. yeah. So we talked about it on TV. That's my excuse. Well, go there on <laughs> Monday nights. Yeah, maybe it's cool. I remember Johnny in, like, I, I want to say 92 or something. It was a band called Love Tree. And he played in this little bitty room that's on the other side, that little studio. Oh, in this building? In this building. Oh. For us, very early on, one of the first oh. live bands we'd had, you know. And then Mr. That's Rocket right. Baby later. Right. You well, know. he was in Mr. Rocket Baby when I moved here. Um, I've only been here since 93, you mm -hmm. know, so I'm still a newcomer. Right. Well, you know, fairly newcomer, huh? <laughs> so I want to let you guys play some music, but I always, you know, I get some feedback from folks who have had their moment in the light with hit songs and you definitely have that and I hope to hear many more from you I've heard songs of your own that should be that and hopefully they will be but having done one that for whatever reason crossed the line TV radio uh, checks you know how does it feel first of all I got two different versions on it, so how does that feel first of all well uh, it's felt a number of different ways throughout the seven years that you know all that stuff has really come into play. I mean, I've gone through the whole gamut of emotions and, you know, states of mind. Uh, didn't it, it doesn't really hit you. Success doesn't even mean anything for a year or so because you're working so hard and you, you know, you, you feel like, sure, you can go eat at nice restaurants and everything, but you still sort of get the feeling that the label is like taking you out to dinner, mm -hmm. you know. Um, then you come home and 18 months later you start getting these gigantic checks you know, in the mail and, and then you don't know what to do with that because you really don't know the difference between uh, you know, five, six digits and five digits. Your average American who works doesn't, I don't think, really knows the difference between uh, $15,000 and you know, $150,000. I believe that they really don't and you don't until it's in your bank account and you are sitting there doing the same things and you actually have people going aren't you gonna spend any money don't, don't you have a bunch of money you know maybe you should get a new car hmm. so you do and then all of a sudden you go through this big you know things get easier and easier to spend on you know and then your standards get higher and higher and then you know you're, you're just being wasteful and 
Coke and whores and tour buses. Totally. I mean, way, you know, way, <laughs> way past what you ever thought. Right. You know, you just start throwing down more on stuff that is unnecessary. Don't smash guitars. It, and it disappears. Oh, right. And what you don't realize is that's a lump sum. And you're not getting paid that much every <laughs> couple of months. No, that's a lump sum. And then when it's gone, sure, you're going to get some kind of residual income, but it's going to be considerably less mm -hmm. and less and less. I, I've heard of these 73 cent checks from another friend of mine. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's great. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I'm not down to that point yet. No, exactly. So, real quick, uh, last thing, you were telling me an interesting story earlier while we were setting up, you know, about the hits and, and how they're heard by A&R people or whatever. So these hits that, you know, are huge, any of them, pick them, there's, a, you know, a number of them. Do you remember the birth of them? Did you think that's what they would be and is that what they were meant to be? No. Mm-mm. No, and there's tons of songs that after I had a modicum of success, there's tons of songs that I'd written that I thought, this is going to be number one for sure, you know? And it never happened, of course. Yeah. But, you know, the ones that were successful, I was like, I don't know if anybody's going to like this. <laughs> Honestly, I played tapes of The Way, and I just sat back going, do they like this? Is this good? People go, that's good. It's pretty good. Let's go. We're late for dinner, you know, and I, d I just didn't realize what it would do. But, you know, and then you know, hear it in, re in retrospect after the success, you sort of like think, oh, yeah, it's obvious. That's, it's got a hooky thing and all that. But when, when I, it was done and everything, I had no idea, no possible idea. That would even make the, you know, other than being some kind of deep cut on the record. I figured sooner or later one of Miles' songs or, you know, possibly out of my head, which did okay, yeah. but probably would never got heard if it weren't for the way first, yeah. you know. Well, beautiful, man. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I'm, I'm ready for some music. Okay. So, yeah, I appreciate you coming to do this, all of you guys yes, coming out to East Austin and playing in this big empty studio <laughs> to the thousands of people we've chained behind the droves. and. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, we shouldn't have gagged them or tied their hands behind their back. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to talk about that on TV. <laughs>
such a waste of time. Hey man, what you do? Smells like trouble brewing. Maybe we could get into some. Feeling like a demon on the run. This is a song called Regretfully. goes crazy and rips the seats out of the stadium and sets them on fire and throws them. I get here lying in the sunshine all I have is tears just watch them as they fall right into my beard this was supposed to be a good time this was supposed to be our year now there's nothing after all how did I get here doesn't really matter I'll try and pass a day without you on my mind without you next to me I seem to have too many bad dreams I guess I'm doing it again I thought about you one more time I'm sending out a message via satellite 
Where are you tonight, my dear? We're all missing you right here. We're lighting you a candle in the dead of night. Where are you tonight, my dear? We're all missing you right here. I said motorcycle girl. <laughs> All right. I only remember the good. I won't. All you wanted was a shoulder to cry on. I guess I kind of blew it with you. We were young and loose. I know that ain't no excuse for what I put you through. I was selfish and wrong, and I just wasn't strong enough to tell you what I wanted to say. As the world kept turning and time went by, your memory has faded away. But once in a while, could be going through some souvenirs from days gone by. Once in a while, if it hits me all at once, I just might even cry. Over the love we had, how it all went bad If I could take it all back, I would Cause I never remember the really bad times I only remember the good
I need to run and grab a. I need Rachel to run and grab one of those Saint Croix.
killer. Fifteen's fine, but no, we're just gonna do two more songs. Since we tried it, let's try falling upstairs. Okay, two more songs, Dave. Okay, this song is only two minutes and thirty seconds long, so we should have two more then. Okay, 
Yeah, you have time for two if you want. Let's do the way first. Get it out of the way and then get out of my head. Ready? I'm going to start it. Just, it'll shorten it a little bit. Just me. They made up their minds and they started packing. They left before the sun came up that day. An exit to eternal summer slacking. But where were they going without ever knowing the way? They drank up the got to talking They now had more important things to say And when their car broke down they started walking Where were they going without ever knowing the way Anyone can see the road that they walk on is paved in gold it's always summer, they'll never get cold, never get hungry, never get old and gray. You can see their shadows wandering off somewhere. Won't make it home, but they really don't care. Wanted a highway, happy today. today. The children woke up. Couldn't find them. They left before the sun came up that day. They just drove off and left it all behind them. Where were they going without ever knowing the way? Anyone can see the road that they walk on is paved in blue. It's always summer, they'll never get cold, never get hungry, never get old and gray. You can see their shadows wandering off somewhere. Won't make it home, but they really don't care. Wanted the highway, happier than today, today. can see the road that they walk on is paved in gold it's always summer they'll never get cold never get hungry never get old and gray you can see their shadows wandering off somewhere they won't make it home but they really don't care wanted the highway but happy Ciao, ciao. One more song. It's called Out of My Head. Ready? You got a perfect amount of time. You ready, Jason? Two, three, four. Sometimes I feel like I am drunk behind the wheel The wheel of possibility However it may roll Give it a spin See if you can somehow factor in You know there's always more than one way To say exactly what you mean to say Was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? I was waiting for an indication It was 
hard to find Don't matter what I say, only what I do I never mean to do bad things to you So quiet, but I finally woke up If you're sad, well, it's time you spoke up too Capsize.